And Man, okay, hardcore. I don't even know what to tell you guys. <laughs> yeah. This is like, oh, yeah. Oh, so it's, I'm back. Twelve years of, of making this show, and it's still <laughs> the worst fucking thing. <laughs> Sucks, eh? It's just <laughs> ah, God, what the be fuck? Be little, be serious, man. I get it together, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Hey, uh, you may remember uh, I mentioned that we had a surprise coming from Agent 667 Miles and uh, he just texted me that he's about an hour away so I'm very excited to see what uh, comes up the road here. Uh, I probably wouldn't spoil it to say that it's probably some kind of a vehicle. Uh, as you guys know, Miles is a, uh, he's a patron of the show Mopar Freak so I could probably, probably wouldn't give it away to say that it's an extinct brand that starts with P. But uh, that's all I know about it. I have not seen this car and I'm very, uh, very much looking forward to it because Miles thought enough of it to drive a thousand miles to go get it. So let's see what comes up the road. Frankers, are you excited? You're just excited because Uncle Miles is coming over. Hey, what are you doing today? Chasing birds? Okay guys, we're in uh, Wapping Town of Morden, Manitoba. Minutes away from seeing the new toy. Hey, we found it. Say hi to Trenton, the man that's kind of put things together for us. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, looking for Trenton. Trenton is just up front. I think. Right on. Go. Hey. Are you Trenton? Yeah, are you Miles? I am. Fine to meet you, buddy. Thank you so much. I want to see the car. Oh, I, <laughs> I really do. We're in Morden, Manitoba at Morden Towing. We um, had the car moved here about a week ago, something like that. Yeah, we'll say about a week. But anyway, he went through the car, checked it all out for us. The brakes are all good. Emergency brake still works. Took it for a drive. The major work he did was changing ball joints because they were punched out, but original units in the car still. So we. Uh, Success all around. We're gonna hit the road and see how it goes. Um, Haven't been inside yet. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I figured all this would open. Nice little mouse nest there in the corner. I don't even know what the hell that is. So we'll put that over the rust hole. Fixed. What do we got for a classic tire here? Looks like a Remington. Premium cushion air. All right. Well, I think we're ready to throw a plate on it and hit the road. Well, why don't we do that? so good. Put the first few miles on it, filled it up with some fresh gas, cruising down the road uh, 65 miles an hour. It's actually nice and quiet in here. The ride is amazing. Like in comparison to my my beater Newport with the extra leaf springs in the back, this car just floats like that. Good days. Good days. Engine's just purring like a kitten, cruising down the highway. Even has a little bit of jam. It's no V8 though. And the ride, I just can't get over how nice this ride is. The semis kind of beat the hell out of the front end of this car, so I'm staying a little bit to the right to try to keep away from their draft. This car is a little bit like a brick wall going through the air. The suspension is so soft. Not just sports car. 
feel a little body roll. Look at her lee. everybody it's day one of returning to Edmonton with the new beast take a look around check out this headliner she's got a little bit of dirt to her but I can't find a rip yet and I've kind of been staring at this thing since I've been cruising around with it the dash pad is really nice a little bit of dyes coming up but there's no cracks of any kind because it's steel <laughs> that's good for your teeth so we're uh, just outside Winnipeg, I just left my sister's. We were visiting in Brandon. We have a couple days driving home. We're going to take it easy because I really don't want to overwork this engine. I don't think people have driven it 14 hours straight in many, many years. So we're going to go easy on it. Two sixty-one cubic inch. Not the power I'm really used to. All you millennials out there, that's how you drive a three on the tree. And it's pretty quiet in here. There are like no wind noise around the doors at all. These rubber seals are still very decent. Might take us a little longer to get home, but the ride is so nice. seems wrong. I don't know what it is exactly. Like I'm sitting in a church pew. I want to be sitting in a barca lounger. Maybe we can hit the nearby pet boys or something and grab 15 washers to put underneath these front bolts. Give her a bit of a tilt. So it appears that this Wonderful original 261 has a wee bit of blow by. Not sure if you can see that, but even though I'm parked, she's still smoking away a little bit. And it looks like it's going to protect the tunnel from any sort of rust issues on the way home. So I thought I'd load up with a little extra oil because we are going through it. Still, no. Runs like a top, beautifully, gets me down the highway. Doing a great job. We'll find some rings for it, maybe come winter, and see if we can add a little extra life to it. So, she's a beauty. Time to hit the road. A little bit of a stressful day today. Cruising along out of uh, generally Brandon area. Started losing power at 70 miles an hour. Difficulty getting over hills. What it turned out to be, we got to the Napa in Saskatoon. Regina. Regina, thank you. And found ourselves another fuel pump. We made it to the other store for gas cap and the fuel pump quit on the car. Luckily, I was able to push it out of traffic, um, get the new fuel pump, slap it back in in about 15 minutes, and we're rolling down the road again. Headed north to Saskatoon. So not that much fun, but we're still rolling. Just uh, maybe an hour delay. And luckily, because they made a million Chevys back in the day, the pump was in Napa on the counter. Gotta love that. Day two. We gotta do the last little stretch to get home. I probably got a 30% increase in power in the RPM band because that fuel pump was just not delivering what it should have been. So we're gonna make the next leg home. Let's see if she starts. Oh, it started, sort of. Might have to get the uh, choke set up a little bit better. Nice, just needs a little fuel in the morning. Yeah. 
You want to lift in my poncho? <laughs> Shit. Yep. Now tell them what you're doing. Do you want to tell them what happened? Uh, so we got a red engine, hot engine light. So we pulled over on the highway. And now he's just going to see what's going on. And we're about 40 kilometers outside Biggerville. So we're like 100, like an hour and a half from the city. It's kind of got a hissing noise when it's running now. I've got the hot light just came on in the car. I think we'll let it cool down, pull the thermostat out of it, slap it back together and carry on down the road, see what happens. Fuck. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Think the drain will open? I don't know. Holy. What? It worked, it opened. Oh, and what, is all the fluid? Somebody yeah. coming by, so just careful. It's draining into a bucket. Drain the fluid down so it's lower than the uh, hose. And pull a couple bolts off, pull that thermostat out of there just in case it's messing with us. We'll run the rest of the way without it. So, so good. So that thermostat was open. It wasn't open very much, but it was open. And uh, normally to have this problem develop while I'm driving, I would think that it wasn't opening all the way, but. And what's that you're putting on? It's a silicone sealant. I don't have a gasket for it right now to replace it, so. Give it a fighting chance that it's going to seal again. Engine's still hot now. In some ways, this has been the easiest drive and the most uncomfortable drive because I don't have I don't have a mechanical temperature gauge or a mechanical oil pressure gauge, so I don't really know what the engine's doing. So when the idiot lights start yelling at me, I really have to respect that. Take a look at it. What's going on? I don't want to go too tight with these bolts. I'm a little afraid of them. This hose looks nice. A little, a little crusty. I do have replacements in the trunk, but hasn't blown yet, we'll keep using it for now. Put your fluid back in? We'll give it a few, let the silicone kind of harden up a little. And then uh, we'll throw the fluid back in. Lots of flow. Sure that's on See how far that takes us. Sure, that's on all the way. Yep. Okay. Is your hot light on now? No. No. No hot light. Let's see how far we go. We made it into Bakerville. We'll give it a quick wash, and then we're looking at about another 45, and we'll go visit our buddy Scott. See what he's up to.
ugly. <laughs> Who's ugly old piece? Who let you in again? God, that's a good looking car, eh? Isn't uh, that bad, eh? Huh? You didn't have any kind words for Mike. For 150 <laughs> bucks, I can't see how you went wrong, eh? About 150 a mile? Yeah. yeah. No, it was pretty cheap. Hey, it's a kind of a special turn up the base kind of day here. Thanks for right? the right yeah. shirt, buddy. We made it. Right? Hey. It seemed so appropriate. Yeah, I guess, right? This was kind of the inspiration of wanting to cruise something like that. Okay. And this is the base model car, right? Nope. So, so the Strato it. Chief, that's the equivalent, I think, of the Chevy Biscayne, right? I believe so. I believe yeah. so. Strato Chief, and then there was, what was Laurentian. above? There was a Parisienne was the top of the line. Well, they were Strato and the Laurentian. Laurentian. Parisienne. Yeah, was yeah. Here. So was here. you might even get a V8 in that. For sure, it would be 283 or whatever. Nice dishes and painted yeah. wheels. Those are awesome. I cannot believe the condition of this thing. You're so straight. You see a reflection in the paint. Well, no, just this is it's, it's not all just right old, it's got rocker paint. panels. That man. thing will like, full oh, rockers no bubbles. It yeah. still has the this little shine up. It's crazy. The little rubber plugs that go in the rockers, they're still there. Oh my god. It's falling right up there. It'll shine up, yeah. Absolutely. All the stainless intact and not terribly beaten. Is it crazy yeah. how good it is? Like, I don't think anyone was foolish enough to store this car outside yet. Well, and I don't think that they, they couldn't have gotten very salty. Was it like on a farm and driven yeah, on gravel? Farm, kind of yeah, yeah. Because so it didn't get salty roads. Five, ten minutes outside of town of Morton, yeah. Manitoba. Didn't have a well, Yeah, no. it should <laughs> have, yeah. I remove any How dare you? <laughs> yeah. well, that's why it's got The Saskatchewan no flag has running boards on it. <laughs> This wasn't Tom and I are down, both from you know? Saskatchewan, yeah, so we. Everybody puts down. running boards on That's, <laughs> <laughs> That's why we got those. The famous them. 60 yeah. Pontiac grill. She's a little chipped up. Really nice condition. What do you think, Frankers? Frankers is more interested in that bug. Yeah. Hey there. She's sick of your car. And a 261 Chevy truck engine. Correct. Let's have a look. Yeah. Uh, I do like this touch right here. Radio was an option in one of these, I guess. It? Yeah, who incorporates it have it. the hood opening right into the grill? That's pretty good. That is out. nice. Hang on a second. I have a puffy in my face. <laughs> there. It's got a so. wee bit of well, roll by. for a speaker and everything, so you probably could get a, oh, yeah. a radio for it at one time. Yeah, it would have been optional, but yeah. this one doesn't have, never did either. There's no. No. There's no plug in the fender or anything. Yeah, so. isn't that nice? Yeah, it is cool. And the glass is perfect. Unbelievable. No da no cracks in the no. dash either. Oh, no, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> no cracks. I didn't know no. when you're sitting in the seat. Well, it looks it like looks Oh, like you're right. It looks yeah. like it's vinyl, but it's actually <laughs> yeah, just steel. Yeah, yeah you got to take the fender off to fix the... To get the... Just do the, the heater core. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's uh, exactly. It. Somebody's bypassed Bypass the heater. The yeah. heater. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe the switch wasn't working. It was just <laughs> too hot in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, summer finally showed up for our drive home. So it was yeah, really our unbelievable. Let's hear it idle here. For a sweet tune on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming you've already put a cam in it. Wow, so cool to see. Um, yeah, for uh, anybody who, unfamiliar with Canadian cars, this is basically uh, Pontiac sheet metal on the Chevy chassis. And rather than the Chevy engine, they use the uh, Chevy truck slash GMC truck engine. So that the Pontiac was a little more upmarket than the Chev. But in fact, it is a stripped out Chev uh, specification on the car, which is just our kind of thing, right? Check it out. You got your all important radio delete plate still intact and uh, manual steering, manual transmission, manual brakes, six cylinder, all important rubber floor and uh, no clock. 
very cool. Very, very fun. Still working. And look at the pliable rubber. There's yeah, no cracks no, the car in there is yet. not abused. And we didn't and whistle when we came down the highway. No whistles. Really? Not even kidding you. No, like we close all the windows up and really? zero whistles. What a treat. We talk to each other like whole we are way, now we no the whole way. <laughs> yeah, and you had to because there's no radio yet. <laughs> when was the last time you looked in here? Do you like the air freshener menace dog? <laughs> no, rust I know. Down there. I know. The paint is shiny oh, still. Oh man. There's like wax polish left in the crowd. Yeah. That's about it. Just amazing. Unbelievable condition. It is. And well, it's really and it, it, the nice thing is that it's just somebody's old farm car. It's not somebody's special convertible that was put away. Like, it's a family like car. what a survivor from just an absolute base lot lot filler car, right? On it? The back seat's hardly used. Yeah. Just yeah. Beautiful. Very little wear. Look at the beautiful headliner. It's not all mousy. It's not, you know, just it's just fantastic. Dirty. There's not even a rip in that headliner. Have a look at the fit on all this. Just like the day it was Solid, made. Right? Yeah. Still sounds like the day it was made. Yeah. The package tray? Yeah. Not all no speakers have been cut in. No wet damage. Doesn't look No, like it's been inside. This car was stored inside. There's it's probably been inside since new. It's probably gonna... never had dogs in it either till now. <laughs> I think it'll have to earn indoor storage for the rest of its life too, at least in my possession. Oh, I think you gotta Just keep to it. Just to keep in. it up, yeah. right? Has that always been a white top? I think so. I think you're right. Like many of them. Yeah, no, cool. it's it's way too yeah. well done. That might be the one option on the car. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. I think the two-tone was probably an option. That's probably the, the white thing. top would have kept it cooler in the summer. And I love a two-tone car, so oh, it's yeah. really worked for me. I'm a little jealous having spent three years on my car because <laughs> my 1960 car took 4,000 hours to put together. And Frankers is not getting out. I guess you guys get Frankers. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about Dean's Edsel. Like this car, same money, way further ahead. Yeah. I mean, it's not a V8, it's not a special yeah. Edsel. Yeah. But no, and but you got a good deal on it too. I think they underpriced it. The mirrors are a bit of a question mark. We don't think they're original, but they might be. So lights all work. All the lights work. I'm so I think it doesn't even have reverse lights, right? No. Nope. That's a reverse light delete. Pontiac, Buick, Vauxhall, Acadian. What does it say? Morden? Morden, Manitoba. Morden, Manitoba. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, sold so this car yeah. from brand new never went further than five miles away. Like it, yeah. That's where I found it, right there. Unbelievable, eh? Yeah. Spent its whole life there. Five miles from its house. From where she from the dealership landed. it was ruled and it was probably just one of a hundred sitting on the lot and right? somebody came in and went yeah i'll take the red sedan there yeah like so close make to sure you get a me taxi. and you know what's so awesome about this is they probably had a hundred of them with no options too right they would have <laughs> yeah. said look where we live don't put radios in these cars. We'll never oh, sell them. How many farmers in the area? Yeah. You got yeah. 55 farmers? No, 55 farmers bring in 55 that. with no radio. <laughs> no radio. And there's no one, options. yeah, there's one lawyer bring in one with a radio. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, so, plans? So, um, a couple of touch ups and. A uh, couple of touch ups. Got to get it through the outer province inspection. That's right. So, so we'll tackle that. Great. Well, that oh, is a delight. A so. Car. Super nice yeah. one. I'm really a sign of the car sickness and letting up. No, no, it was all good. We had a great trip back. Actually, that's great. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah. you know, that's really cool that, that, that it was. Great right? car. Yeah. Great. The and first other than those two little repairs, yeah, which I'm sure will be The first repair in Russia traffic, I was a bit of a bitch. Like, I, yeah. I don't enjoy that. No, no, no. Stressed out. I had to push sure. it out of traffic first. Once it was out of traffic, I'm yeah. better. You know? Yeah, for sure. And I was well, really you know, worried. in Saskatchewan, they're used to see an old farmer pushing <laughs> their dead true. Pontiacs <laughs> off the road in rush hour. It's no was, different, just right another day in like Regina. Eh? The town embraced me at that moment. Yeah. Like, oh, he's like, one of oh, ours. You're an honorary sure. Saskatchewan citizen now. Your, your <laughs> Strato <laughs> chief down broke down. I had a lot of fans on the drive, but yeah. every time we stopped. Oh, I bet, eh? Yes. Well, this is, you know, it's I mean, super. 
Yeah. It is really, really, really good, man. I'm really happy for you. And you let Tom near it, though, eh? Oh, You'll yeah, never yeah, see it again. Keep your eyes off it, man. Last you see of that baby. <laughs> Exciting stuff today. These are the remains of the brackets that go from the lower valence in the front of the Plymouth to the bumper. So obviously square hole there. So I think something like this. Anyway, obviously pretty twisted up, broken, rusty, the usual. So a carriage uh, bolt there and the remains of some amount of the lower valence still trapped in there. So I'm going to try to straighten these out to look like something and then uh, de-rust them and paint them and I think they're supposed to be black. There we go, we can see some original black paint so that tells us they're black. That's good news because that is easy. Uh, so we'll get started on those. I'm not going to spend a ton of time filming straight out some straps of tin here and then uh, Probably just cut to the swearing or cut from the swearing. I don't know. We'll just uh, we'll cut to the uh, slightly more interesting and dangerous installation of the actual piece. Okay. Well, there was no way to figure out what these are supposed to look like, so I made a dummy out of sheet metal, and I went in and fitted this to the car until that profile worked, because it actually fits. This curls and fits right flush to the inside of the bumper, so you don't see it. So, but if that doesn't fit perfectly to the inside of the bumper, then it's too long. And then it'll hold the bumper up higher than it's supposed to be. So, in order to get the bumper to fit, we had to curl this piece multiple times to get it to just match the inside profile of the bumper. And we've got to figure out, this is just a quarter twenty, so probably, uh, I don't know, I'll probably just punch that out. It might be safer and easier on the paint to uh, punch this uh, out and just put a uh, carriage head quarter inch in there and we'll just have to tighten it up. I guess. Anyway, there's one and here's the before or the other side I guess. I will get started matching that to that and once we have them both we'll go in there and try our luck. Here's another half day shot. Alright, those are straightened up and I've taken the uh, uh, pinched in carriage bolts out of the uh, small end there and now I'm just going to uh, get these ready to paint and we're going to paint them and uh, I guess we'll have to put them on tomorrow. Alright, got the NA6. This is terrific for de-rusting. So also not particularly dangerous compared to some stuff and a lot quieter than sandblasting. So there we go. So we'll check back. It's surprisingly fast. I think we'll find that in a couple hours these are spotless. I didn't used to use a bunch of this stuff and then I realized that it's working while you're doing something else. And now I just, anything I can de-rust without having to play with it, that is awesome. All right, we'll dunk those in there and we'll see how it looks in a couple hours here. Okay, in keeping with the uh, theme of getting a little bit on the Fury every week if possible, I've got the front bumper brackets repaired, I think. Let's go see how it goes. Jory's going to help me out. You bet. As in by laughing and filming. Frankers is going to help by staying out of the way, right, Mini Frankers? Oh, you stay out of the way. That's right, buddy. Okay. Okay, because I miss lying on the cement. So here we go. <clears throat> Again, the idea of these is that they go like that, and this curve fits that, so you don't really see them. Nevertheless, kind of a pain in the ass, but do have some really nice new carriage bolt there. So, I don't know. We're not saying this is not going to go off the rails, but hoping it's not going to go as far off the rails. Don't, don't help for a second, okay, riders? These are a nightmare, because there's only one way to kind of sneak them in. Slow all this 
this along here. Start by start by getting something on here. Okay, so far so good. predictable at all. <laughs> okay. Yep, that's about right. This was one of the worst parts of the car when we got it. This whole thing, this was all twisted up and really quite bad. Now I made them s identical to each other, so if we can get the other side on, like, that's a that's a miracle. Good. These are all the parts that when I was taking the car apart, I thought, oh man, these are the things you have a long journey before this is all done. So this is the stuff that's fun to see it. Just a little too far to reach it in any direction. And Are you helping? Very good. Sure is. It's also very kind of uh, the plater to include, and in their own best interest, they included all new bolts because guys will get these things plated and then they'll try to put the old bolts back in and then they'll spin and then they wreck the chrome and then they bring it back so very smart of them and very nice to include all new hardware okay you don't like dancing but you yeah and and yet <laughs> you constantly harass me okay there we go a little bit every time Next week, uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna keep hammering. There's not a hell of a lot left. Interior, maybe? Uh, interior emblems. Well, like I say, all the, all the, uh, what do you call it? All the candy, hey? All the candy stuff now. Just the fun, the dessert. But there's a lot of it. And, uh, but. Those were something I was not looking forward to, and now they're on and they seem to fit very nicely. So that's one more piece of the puzzle. Now back to the regular scheduled bullshit. <laughs> what a fucking idiot's <laughs> nightmare. Hey, take two. <laughs> Golly, geez, Wait, golly. what's this? Hey, what's this? Hey. Oh, wow. Live. This is why we don't do live shows. Live. People walking around looking for sodas. <laughs> We're fucking back. We're back. With Look at this place. Can we clear one square inch where there's no fucking darts or ashtrays? Camera was not rolling. Fucking beers everywhere. <clears throat> the host is drunk. Damn. All right, back to the show. As we were saying, the embossing has been. It's been a pretty sh a General Motors day. One of the better grills, I think, of the era. And what model is this? Sedan. You turn the radio all the way off. Oh yeah, shit. I read the whole thing. Yeah, it's yeah that's, Each, that's the difference between this coach and a, <laughs> and a have sedan. Gray. Um, sorry, my. Well, I got paint all around. Everybody's just a fucking bomb. Just, I see all this nice stuff. I'm just ruining it. Here's your right. car right there. Yeah. Town sedan, there you go. Town sedan with a bustle back trunk. Do you have a cheap, drunk uncle that needs a car? The 37, oh, that's actually nice. 37, was that the first year of the turret roof? Or is it six? Seven, six. I think. Six? Six. 
And that's yeah. it. Let's see there. Same there, spare, yeah. Same thing. Same stuff. See, this is what you paid a big money for. Whoops. Fucking paid a big money so that the shadow from the fucking fuzzy thing is in every <laughs> shot that you take. <laughs> Fuck. It's like having a boom microphone just inside. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> just bonk it in. <laughs> oh man. Crane shot. Crane right. shot. Look at the sport coupe. Did the, it's not really. Look, it's got a three-inch chop. <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't hey, look like that when you do it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a <laughs> Something's wrong. That's What's your that color. That's a big dumpy thing outside. That's your color, That's your color though. That oh yeah. Color. Brown with a red pinstripe. <laughs> oh yes, the famous brown. Doo doo brown, yeah. Doo doo brown. I can't believe that I have one of these cars. <laughs> hey, where'd it come from? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's sketchy right. fuckers, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're standing right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, he uh, was not honoring his warranty either. Eh? Well, no. That's what a guy needs right there. That's a oh, sure. Guy. Yeah, that's a money car, though, that's eh? That's a beauty. It's a Chevy money car, though. Yeah, gorgeous, though. Like the Cabriolet, oh, yeah. sweet. Nice looking car. This wasn't somebody imitating this style. This was the yes, style, this right? It's cool. You know what's oh, cool this about this? This industrial art was all hand drawn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's beautifully it done. There's people sure. that could do that and didn't have yeah. AutoCAD and computers mm -hmm. and crap. They drew well, all and this. They could do. They could do amazing things. That's your first. Falvin head. First. Uh, view. Well, they never did make a flathead Chevy ever. Yeah, it's cool. Look how happy these people are. Yeah, I'm happy too. Put me down. Look at how the wind is. I love that the potential shoppers should know that the uh, <laughs> connecting sure. rod bearings are yeah. two and five sixteenths in diameter. So that's, yours that's is a, a master shot. deluxe because it's got fully yeah. enclosed knee action built in double acting shock absorbers. I don't think absorbers. it does. It's got a beam action. You got a beam? She's a beam. You told me. She's a beam. You told me it was a knee it's action. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was a knee action. Yeah. So it, it must be a beam. Promise me knee action. action. Yeah, I thought you were yeah look at everybody's <laughs> leaving. <laughs> my friends are leaving now. I thought it was. my life. <laughs> Got this for the bar for our buddy Elton McFall at Retro Old School. Uh, you guys should get in touch with Elton because he will do your car as well and he does a great job. I got him to do the Bluesmobile obviously for me because <laughs> that was you know, it's There's burned into my <laughs> head so gotta have that. And we thought while we were at it, I got him to do Dave's car because I thought it would be fun to get the Impala done. Oh, oh look at that! Holy shit, hey? look at this. Oh, this is incredible. So look at that. that's, uh, you might recognize the angle from one of the ads, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he changed it to a four-door hardtop. Oh, cool! And oh, it's got your plate cool. and your number and the Chad sticker. Oh, yeah, that's right. Great. Oh, that's incredible. Let me get around and get a picture of it. I haven't seen it before. Oh, right there, we go. One. So uh, oh, that was really that fun incredible. and really cool, of Elton. He 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 basically oh, sat down and much. did it. Well, it looks oh, exactly yeah. like it. Yeah, look at like even the straight pipes. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. That's and, it's uh, unbelievable. And a cool yeah. uh, and also oh. like that ad, right? Wow. And the ad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if anybody wanted to get their car painted by Elton uh, because he does a great job and he sat down and he had that to me really quickly. Give Elton a call. He does a great job and That's great. Well, thank you. you know, and it's way easier to get a painting of your car than to get your car painted. Me and I are, we're on uh, Continental Patrol today and we're going to start by removing the quarter panel and so we can keep uh, fitting up the pieces Jim and I made last time. We just keep putting the quarter on when we're done because it's out of the way and safe. So, okay. uh, sure. you may yeah. have to put your beer down. Yeah, sure. Beer time. Beer time. And then on clamp time, you got clamps, clamps. I'm gonna hold it with you. We're putting it under the bolt. We don't need it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's all been QR15. It's got underneath it. What do you want on the bug? Yeah. Okay, okay. Now okay. we're back to the actual work. So, so, so Jim. That. that one, yeah. Put it here. It's a drop? Yeah. Problem is, we have to cut this. We have to fold that tighter. And there, one little C clampy one here. And now we're getting. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's better. Okay. Okay. 
good there. Okay. You see that? Because that's uh, where the that's where the fender sits. See that line? Yeah. So we have to fold all this back, and that means that this has to get. So you can't cut it back. You actually no, have to. No, because it's folded in. Right? Oh, right. Yeah. So we're gonna make this piece in front of the wheel all pretty thin, and. Uh, so we just need a paper pattern real quick and then, and then we'll transfer uh, it. There we go. So now I'm going to pull the flanges into it and then kay. we'll uh, okay. see how much uh, of other type of things it needs. Just getting it started. Okay. Paint on it can stay inside. Outside, yeah. It's a different story when mm -hmm. it's, to me anyway, I mean we're not, this is battlefield surgery inside the fence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> battlefield. So whatever. <laughs> Yeah. The definition of success is it's done. Okay. Sorry, Jim. Sorry, Jim. Yeah. It's getting <laughs> Sorry. whatever. What's going on over there? Sorry. <laughs> oh, I see. Just a little. So, okay. Just get it going. Oh, we can so you're, just it. you're just coaxing your fires now. Okay. What's in bash going on here? Shop in here. Yeah. It is, yeah. Pretty soon. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Too Jim, much. Jim's there. like, you're not done fast enough. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> not <this way. laughs> Right on. Oh, Jim's working there too. Yeah, we're all, oh, both guys are. Men at work, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this whole lip thing has got to be moved back there, Mr. Scott. Yeah. Whole thing has got to be shifted back to there, or what's the? Uh, no. At this point, honestly, that piece can go on, and it'll get finalized. Perfect. Unless we've got anything we don't know about back there, and we'll just have to fine tune cool. it in place. We're not going to really have to take it on and off twenty more times. No, no. What did we decide was the deal here? What is the deal? <laughs> what is the deal? Yeah. Oh, is this that? Quarter just returns and flaps over it. Right, so and this, we uh, don't put that fold in. That's what we discovered, right? Yeah, that yeah, is, there, that's there not there supposed no fold, to be there. Yeah. It's just supposed to be straight. You can put that on as far as Sweet. I'm concerned. Oh, and then I think it's uh... Okay, oh. so, I mean. All right. The thing is, fine tuning that edge is going to happen. Oh yeah, with the uh... as we put the quarter on, no matter how hard we try now. Gentle, right? I'll go Bambi it, yeah. Bambi, Bambi time, not uh, hogging over. Okay, a little bit there. Do you still too much? God, sorry. Oh, I'm, still, I'm still just like, oh, I want no, to. It's just a wrong plan. I know, it's just a mo plan. It's not like you're. Okay, oh, that's better. Yeah. Hey, Jim, I got to roll, man. Take it easy. Maybe we'll see you this weekend. Cheers. See you later. Daddy. Good. Yeah, we're getting there. Let's see. Da -da. So you're just kind of kicking out that. Yeah, I see. You know? yeah. Yeah. The it's a nice compound curve, right? Like, like, yeah, sorry. Let me do it. And. Okay, now we need a little, little more shrinky, sort of in here. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. This is a little light, though, like you said. Yeah, a little light. light on Light on the shrink. Okay. Definitely ends there. It doesn't fold out. It doesn't fold under one more there's time. A there's a rust spot here too. That'd be that? cool. There. Yeah, that's a gym hole. That's a gym hole? That Jim's got a Jim's on the fold. Jim's on that one. Yeah. Is that? Oh, this is a rust hole. Oh, so we found some holes, but what? those are gym holes. Oh, J J holes. Yeah. J holes. Wow. I'm just working on some sheet metal screws here for you guys. Oh, good. Yeah. Where are these J holes? 
Well, just that one behind here. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a simple J hole. It's J -hole. no problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nothing to be <laughs> too concerned oh, about. That would be an easy one for Jim to do. Yeah. yeah. Look at here is knee saver if you want. Oh, thank you. You got a stretcher? Uh, that linear. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Stretch die. I've just been use, using that since it seems to be way nicer oh, than the. That's a much better way to go, I think. Yeah. Okay, so now you can cut out the old excess. What I'm going to say we're going to do is we'll everything lap for now yes. and installed with screws. Yeah, yeah. When the whole car fits with screws, you can decide. Oh, yeah. Because so I can tack and bash that it. in five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> or we can grind it yeah. down. Yeah, oh, totally, around. man. Totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Yeah, right. The grind and fuck for the tack. Yeah, grind. Okay. So okay. I can hack this and yes. screw this on in about five minutes yeah. just until we <laughs> fit in the flat. quarter. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because we keep. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't that look more reasonable now? That's nice. Oh yeah. well, man, yeah, way better. better. Way better. Like it's oh, way out here. So at the little yeah. bottom of the kick part there, you got a little trim and fix all that. Because this it's is like so this... hard to fit this stuff. That the only way you fit it is you put on the panel, mm -hmm. the boss, which is yeah, the quarter. Yeah. You put that yeah, on. You make all these subservient oh, pieces okay. yeah. fit then, that. Yeah, yeah. Bow before their master. That's right. Yeah, like, I don't care what this piece looks like. I don't care what this piece looks like. Holy shit. Oh, my excellently secured air dryer. <laughs> right, man. When, when one thing is rusty or broken, there's another thing, and there's another thing. And well, this whole car. Yeah, man, it's such a Started yeah. with a small crack in my rear quarter that panel. That's right. Oh, that looks good, Scott. There we go. So that will take care of all this. You just stretch it a bit there to mm -hmm. help it curl around. Okay. This is going to fold in and it welds to the back of this. Okay. And fits. Yeah, that's Wicked. pretty good. Perfect. And Jim, check out Jim's piece yeah, there. Yeah, Jim's got some work some going on. Adjustamentes oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and some tweaking oh, on that. Oh, a little heat metal screw action. Yeah, fastened in there with the. Uh, boop, boop. Yeah, some fast. Five sixteens head. So the slotted screwdriver. Oh, yeah. I use a dime if oh, I get that. Oh yeah, if he's got no no, no common screwdriver. That's looking, uh, but that's looking surprisingly good. Surprisingly decent. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. We're gonna put this, this, and this in, and then we're gonna lay it up there one more time, right? Because mm. yeah, we yeah. gotta start. There's a lot of shit back there that's not. That oh doesn't yeah. Even yeah. Exist so that the filler guys show up on Monday, so we'll have to <laughs> wait a day or two ahead of them. Yeah. Right. Awesome, guys. Grill, whatever. Oh, yeah. No, I got I'm that actually filming this combo so, uh, here. What's that mind right? your P's and Q's here. I'm just, I'm just joking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All pines and quarters, yeah. really. Yeah. I didn't know that. Wow. Today's learning session with Dean. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, well, what the fuck's pints and quarters? Like with beers, isn't it? With every alcohol mix? Yeah, quarters. Oh, isn't it an old English term? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but right? only be enjoy a, a a pint and don't drink a quarter rye or whatever. <laughs> That's you know? right. Yeah, I already I already drank your rye, man. <laughs> just kidding, I didn't, but I might. <laughs> but I might. Let's sit there. Yeah, just, yeah. No. Pin it. Pin it. Sorry, sorry, guys. <laughs> Those fucking holes are gonna take an hour to weld. Up. Oh yeah, that's good. It's great. It's great. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, the tools for the job. I'm gonna beat this. Oh yeah, yeah. Dome. Yeah. Beat it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Hey. Baby steps. Yeah. Well, it's not made out of glass. Yeah. I know it's not. Yeah. No, believe me. Yeah. Well, hammering this yeah. is taking. This car is a nice car. This is. Yeah. Might be it someday. Yeah. Okay, I'm going back. You okay? You good? There, eh? Right? I like the little air, uh, the little air con I think oh, it's, it's a good handle. Yeah, yeah, it's a beautiful. Yeah, it's a beautiful. Yeah, otherwise, how else can you grab the thing? Okay, we're not even close. 
Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, yes. Should I drop mine a bit or? Oh, I know. Oh, okay. Like that. Better? No. How yeah, am I? Yeah, they're good there. Okay, no, get some pliers and bend that out of the way. That's my. That's a temporary patch. Oh, okay. Oh, that's better. That felt better, but then we drop. Oh, that's better. But now check our trunk lift. No, it's okay. Oh, wow. yeah. These are fucked. Oh yeah. Uh, See, so those weren't the first one. I can get so, bigger ones too. Those are too small. I've got their bigger brother and then the biggest yeah. brother. Uh, nice. Just for my brother. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, good. So that tire is in the way. Do it. Okay. And then our piece. If you look there, because you've got original datum datum. Oh yeah. Double D. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're very close there, so we'll just yeah. gonna, we'll it's a matter of millimeters. Okay. Okay. Pull her back in there. Yeah. Yeah. We're putting it back on again. Ooh. That felt good. Come on, you damn Lincoln puck. No, I'm on here. What's going on at the uh, top? Up at the top there. Top's How's looking the very line? good here. Well, like these fault welds are all lined up. Okay, so then we gotta go up at the back. Okay, yeah. at the back, yes? Yeah. Okay, I'll go up. Oh, there we go. Yeah, right there. Well, I can't go much further, boys. I'm yep, no, that, that's time. very good right there. Okay, do you want to put a clamp or something somewhere? Yeah, if I, I can put a clamp at the front here, it'd be ideal. Because so then really we can hit. lever against something, because we are gonna struggle with getting back to the quarter up high enough. And that's okay, it just means to be, you know what, we're closer than I thought. Good. Pretty reasonable here. Yeah, it's yeah. just right there. It's binding yeah. up, right? Do, you, do we just want to roll my piece in for you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Give me that big hammer. Big I'll hammer. Use yeah. yeah, I'll Super use this as a chisel. Ready? Okay. Yeah. 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 Wait, deep. Yeah. Okay. You take one of your screws and put it in here. Okay. Because then we know. And then actually our line here is good. Okay, down. Yeah. Okay. Now at least we know, right? Yeah. This is original. Yeah. So now if you go down at the back, that'll tighten this up. Yeah. You mean left, you want me to go down, Dean? Down towards the ground? Yeah. I guess this guy. But I'm gapping over the channel. I'm gapping over the channel even more than ever, though. That's okay. That's okay, hold on. Problem. Just, just, okay, it's hold on. Different problem. Okay. Oh, okay. Jab right, right there. So we got this double hole here. You got a datum there? Yeah. Well, not bad for one evening. Couple pieces done. Cold one. Yeah! Couple of cold ones. Yeah. Couple of cold ones with the boys, and away you go. That's right. You having a couple of cold ones? Not bad, eh? Yeah, this is the closest it's been by far, so. Yeah. Maybe we should uh, put the tail light in and go. Yeah. Collar then. Got it to. <laughs> <laughs> this thing will be done next summer! Yeah. All right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should take my more than a couple of uh, Summer challenge. Yeah, yeah summer yeah. challenge 2021, 20, 22, yeah, yeah, 23. Uh, we could do Buick summer challenge this year, it'd be cool. Uh, summer's over. Summer's yeah. over, buddy. Rain came. Oh, it's still spring. I guess yeah. Jim's right, though. Brakes are good again. Yeah, for now. Yeah, for now, exactly. It's a really cool thing. Hey guys, thanks so much uh, as always for watching the show. Uh, we always do have a great time putting it together. Uh, thanks also for hitting the old like button if you like this kind of thing and, and for leaving a comment. I really enjoy reading them and uh, you know, anything that helps the show get seen. Uh, and again, I, I only mention it because every time I do, I seem to get a hundred people have to resubscribe. Please double check if you think you're subscribed to the show because YouTube does unsubscribe a lot of people. Whether it's just to this channel or all the channels, I don't know, but that's what it's doing. So, uh, very much appreciated. That's about it. It's getting a little dark, so everybody, uh, please have a great week, and uh, we'll see you uh, in a few days with more of the same. Same what you say? Is a regular ah, contributor. Same old shit.